Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to convert the audio stream of an SWF file into something usable, like a wave. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up VLC Media Player. Okay. Now we're going to uh, open the SWF file with VLC. In this case it's named 1.SWF, so we're just going to open that. Okay. And let you hear it. Okay, so now you can tell that VLC can actually can actually uh, get the audio off of that. So now what we're going to do is the actual nitty gritty work. What we're going to do is going to select open file, browse, select the file one more time, open. Now we're going to click save slash stream, settings, file, browse. I'm going to say uh, sound two dot wave sound dot wave is the uh, file I did previously so we're gonna hit save there I'm gonna select the encapsulation method as wave and we're going to uh, hit OK we're gonna hit OK one more time actually I'm move this window over here so stay within the frame we're gonna hit OK and it's gonna up oh, that was quick now let's just confirm. We're going to open up Audacity, which is a sound editing program. File. Open. Desktop. At least for me. Sound 2. Open that up. And there we go. It's something legible. Let's make sure it uh, came out right. Alright, came out perfect. And that's how you convert the audio uh, track out of a uh, SWF file into a wave. Now, just to let you know, your mileage may vary. If, for example, a lot of SWF files are interactive, those may not work. So you may want to test it out, see if it does. Um, both of these programs, both Audacity and VLC, I have links for them in the, uh, in the video info. So you can link to them. They are compatible with both Mac, Windows, and Linux. So any of you guys using Macs or Linux, you don't have to follow my instructions exactly, uh, but you can probably figure it out on your own. All right, that's it.